I currently look like crapolia. Um, today is March 7th. It is 10:40 a.m. And guess what, you guys? I'm excited because I haven't done this in a very long time. And yes, I'm blind, so I have to wear my glasses. Anyways, I'm excited because um, I am on my way. I can't even go like that because I don't got no nails. But I'm on my way to get my lips touched up, which I really like. Really, really need it um actually i don't feel like I, they're too bad um but i just want them to like touch up a little bit right here and fill up my bottom lip so i'm super excited about that because i haven't gotten my lips touched up in probably going on two years that's a very long time um the first year of me getting my lips done like my little lip journey literally i got so many syringes that i couldn't even tell you exactly how many i got but i want to say close to seven six or seven which is it seems like a lot but i will insert kind of like a little picture like a little picture so you guys can see that it's really not a lot because it sounds like a full syringe or like dang girl that's a whole lot of freaking um, filler you're adding in your lips but it really isn't much um i believe they said it takes up to five full syringes to fill up a tablespoon um so it's really not a lot of product that goes in your lip and it's super expensive i mean normally i drive out um to el paso to get my lips done i go out there but you guys it is almost five hour drive and technically for me it's like a 10 hour drive and i would do it in a one day i would go that same day and come back that same day so it's like a 10 hour drive just to get my lips done and it just sucked i mean the drive just dragged i hated doing that and i used to do it because they would offer um really good deals um so originally a syringe well back then when i used to go a syringe would go around um I think it was $600 or something like that. Um, but when I would go, they would have sales and I would get a full syringe for $400. Plus they give you like a $20 little tip, um, a bonus or something like points added to your account. So every time you go, they give you $20 and you could use it on that, that actual appointment. So I would always pay $400. So since I would go all the way out there, I would literally get two syringes right away just because it was at the beginning of me getting my lips done so i felt like i needed a lot because my lips used to be very very flat i'll insert a picture of that too I i'm currently starting to bruise do you guys see that right there it's bruising i actually recorded my whole process and my journey on getting my lips done so i'm gonna try to find all the clips and kind of like insert all the clips of me getting my lips done um so you guys could see kind of like the process because it takes a lot especially like if you want the like a brats it's called the brats doll um lips which are like the big um i don't know like pouty lips they're like really big big dramatic lips well cute big dramatic lips anyways um so with that being said i'm on my way over there my appointment's at 11 and i actually found somebody local and they look like they do a fucking amazing job like a really good job so i'm excited to go and see and check it out and see if this is somewhere where i could start going you know f f and make it like my main place instead of having to drive all the way to el paso so i'm kind of excited it's really not the actual location 
it's more about the person doing the lips at least that's what i think i mean if they do a good job then obviously you'll continue to go to them um but like i said i would only go out there because it was cheaper and unfortunately um over here they don't have a sale going on or anything like that so i am gonna be paying around I think it was like $500. They have two different options. Oh, by the way, and I am using different stuff. Normally, I use the Juvederm Ultra Plus for my lips, which gives you the more dramatic look. But I guess at this place, they don't use that. They use two other types. I'm going to see if they will allow me to record so they could kind of explain the two options that they have. But what I liked about it is that the stuff they do offer it does last longer ulta the old the juvederm ultra plus that normally lasts only six months the product will only stay in your lips up to six months unless you have built up like me then obviously it will last longer right mile, turn left, but west technically it will south. only technically it will last only six months but over here i think they said up to eight months or, or longer which is really exciting because girl it's a lot of money but over here they do charge around 500 dollars. the other one is 800 and some i don't know but i don't know which one i'm getting i'm actually debating if i should have them remove all the product off of because see as of right now it seems like i have more fluid over here so they might just have to fill this in a little bit and then make the bottom lip bigger i want my bottom lip to be bigger this time like way bigger than the top so i do have an option on turn them to west side boulevard southeast oh i missed the turn i do have the option on having them uh remove all the filler from my lips and start and all over again but i really don't want to do that Avenue, only because i spent so much freaking money to get this done i mean i spent thousands you guys think about it i got freaking seven syringes at 400 dollars each that's a lot of money Turn left to Wells so Avenue, i Southeast. think what i'm gonna do is i'm literally i'm literally gonna just have them either fill in that little corner and um or don't do nothing to the top lip at all and just fill in the whole bottom but in all reality i really think that i'm gonna have them fill in just a little bit right here and that's it but we'll see i'm almost there it's exactly what well, my car says 10 45 but i think my car clock is a little bit 10 minutes ahead of a mile, um so right i'll see you when i get there hopefully they let me record if they don't let me i will show you guys the process because they do the numbing and all that so i will see if they let me record that but i'll see you guys in a little bit See how with that little bit of lidocaine numbing your lips, how that top right lip already kind of fluffed out? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks it, even. It, it does, right? I noticed it when I was recording like, yeah. with it. I'm like, it already looks... It does. So I think that Botox is really going to help. So we're going to correct some asymmetry we have to the right upper lip. Hopefully with some Botox so we're not overfilling to compensate for this deficiency. We're just going to go back in and plump that up a little bit and leave this alone with filler. Okay. Is it? Bye.
So different because I could actually feel you putting the product. Mm -hmm. Not like you said, they obviously went deep mm -hmm. because I never felt that. Crazy. Like I could actually feel it going in there, right. like on top. Right. Does that make right. sense? Yep. I mean, because even though you're numb, you don't really feel as much. But I could feel the product right. going in, and with them, I never felt anything. Right. And if you're too deep, you're just you're gonna lose your product. It, it, well, one, it's an unsafe area to be in, and it's also not a pretty. Instead of pushing your lip out, we're really just trying to roll it out to give you more pink show rather than projection.
instead of adding more filler because she does have a deficiency a little bit of asymmetry which is totally normal in faces but since she's still a little overfilled up here the last thing we want to do is add more filler to this so what we're going to do is add a little bit of neurotoxin in here to relax this muscle which is going to give it an illusion of a flip it's going to pull that lip up a little bit more to look more full rather than adding filler and this will take about a week to kick in give me a good pucker like, yep, kiss. There we go. Perfect. Maybe a little bit at about right here, right where we want to. And then again, right in here. So we're just targeting the muscle. So that's it on that. Let's go down to me. <laughs> Lips so numb, I can't even do that. <laughs> you've got any pain, discomfort uh, isn't normal. Um, pain is not normal. Discoloration of your lip, not normal. Bruising, again, normal. But if you've got dark purple bruising, yeah, like or, yeah, or bruising on the inside of your lip, or bruising that travels, or blanching, so when your skin turns white in certain oh, okay. areas, that means we've got some sort of vascular compromise, let me know immediately. What we do in that case is we go in there and dissolve and get that blood flow restored. Um, I don't anticipate any issues, but again, I've got my cell number just in case. And this is just um, some gloss with arnica and just a bunch of anti-inflammatory and anti-bacterial properties in it. It'll help with bruising and swelling. My philosophy with these fillers is to just, you can always add more. Go conservative. You can always add more, but once it's in there, it's a bit of a commitment. I'm trying, baby. 